Well, what's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, um, I got a, a gripe today. I'm uh, pissed off about something. I thought I'd share it with my viewers. Uh, and this is what it is. Dell Computers. Uh, see, I had me a Dell computer I bought in 2007, and I had it for a long time, right on up to February of uh, this year. And I liked it. It's a pretty good computer. It did me good. And so I got me another one. They kept sending me emails to saying they was giving me all kind of good deals to get one, so I said, well, okay, I'll do that. I'll get me one. Well, all right, here's my gripe. You see? Uh, first of all, let me uh, do a little disclaimer here. Uh, I have no gripes against uh, people from India. I like them. I like people from all over the world. It makes no difference. What I don't like is American companies that hire out people from India or somewhere that don't be able to speak American languages very good. Now, I ain't the best English myself. I'll be admit about that. But anyhow, I just want to make sure my Indian uh, viewership doesn't uh, get offended by, by what I'm going to say. And I've got nothing against them. It's against Dell for not hiring or teaching them how to speak English better. So anyhow, I've got this here new computer. And you're seeing me on it right now. Oh, see, it's a jiggling, but that's my fault. That was not the computer's fault. Uh, anyhow, <clears throat> I've been doing my videos on my new computer pretty good and uh, as far as doing the videos is done all right but <clears throat> when I try to upload them up there onto YouTube they're as slow as a itch and uh, trying to download something off of the internet is it it's lower than the itch so I said well I checked a whole bunch of other stuff I got some technicians to come around and check the internet connections and all that kind of stuff and and uh, see, there's two computers in my house. My girlfriend, she's got an old uh, Toshiba computer. It's about four or five years old, and uh, it download just fine. And uh, put mine on the same internet, and mine wouldn't download worth the flip. So I said, well, I figured it's my computer right off the bat. And so, but after a while, I checked everything, rechecked everything, and so I said, okay, I'm gonna call old Dell up on the telephone, see what they got to say about it. So I called old Dell up and, uh, and uh, I got this fella from India. Now I can tell he was from India. I didn't, like I said, there ain't no nothing about it, uh, but I couldn't understand him real good. But anyways, we talked about it a little bit, and I told him what my situation was. And he said, well, he says, uh, first of all, they got to get the part number. Every one of them wants the part number, and I understand that. They got to see what computer they're looking about. And so... I uh, gave him the part number and told him my situation. And uh, he said, well, he said, that's a software problem. I'm a hardware man. Let me switch you on over to somebody in the software department. So I said, yeah, okay, I, I understand that. And so he put me on hold there for a while. And I heard all the promos about how to buy some more Dell stuff. And on and on and on and on. Pretty soon here come another fella on there. He was from India, too. I don't know if they're in the same place or in a different town or what there was. I kind of figured, I don't know, it was just me, that they were switching me from one town to another. But anyhow, uh, he said, I said, I wonder if I had the part number, and I gave him the part number. He looked it up, and he said, yeah, okay. He said, uh, what's your problem? I, said, I told him my problem again. He said, well, we had a little bit of communication problems there. He was understanding me and me understanding him, you know. See, it ain't all on one side. It's, you know, both sides of us are having a, a language problem. So anyhow, <clears throat> he said, well, he says, uh, I can't fix it. I need to switch you on to another department. And uh, I didn't quite understand what department he was talking about. But anyhow, he, he switched me on to another department. And uh, on, uh, I think that was the third time. Uh, might have been the fourth time, I'm not sure. But anyways, uh, it's kept going on and on. I think the third or fourth time, lo and behold, there was an American on there. I mean, he sounded like an American to me because uh, he didn't sound like he'd give a shit about nothing. And anyhow, uh, I told him, uh, he said, what's your part number? And I told him, and uh, he asked me my name. And I said, well, my name, and I told him what my name was. And so uh, he said, well, uh, 
that's not your computer. I said, well, what do you mean not my computer? I like it. I got it. It's right here. I've got it in my hand. It's mine. You sent it to me. He said, well, it's got a different name on it. I said, oh, well, hell. I said, well, can you fix it so it'll be mine? And he said, uh, yeah, you got to go in there and register it now. And so then, uh, see, I'm getting to forget now. It's been so many times. I think he switched me over to somebody, and then they told me how to register the computer. And then all of a sudden, it was mine. I'm thinking. I'm not sure if it's my computer or not still. Okay, so uh, anyways, long story short, because, I mean, this is getting to be a long video. Uh, I ended up on number seven or eight, I think it was seven, and I said, look, feller, I said, uh, I don't talk to a supervisor, I'm, I'm getting swapped, because he's in the hardware department again. I said, I want to talk to the supervisor, and I want to get this thing fixed right now, I'm getting tired about it. He said, well, would you do this, would you, I said, no, I said, I want to talk to a supervisor, damn it, and when I said, damn it, he hung up on me. Well, so that was my deal with the the Dell computers over there in India. I think I went to seven different towns. We didn't get nothing fixed. And I said, I'll back up for just a bit a minute. When I bought the dang gum thing, I bought it over the telephone. And uh, that their fellow was in the air too. And uh, I reckon he's the one that messed it up and uh, shipped me in the wrong computer or something. Like that. I don't know. But anyhow, uh, Dell, get your crap together. I'm getting sick and tired of this stuff. And I'm going to call you back again tomorrow. And if you ain't got it right tomorrow, I'm going to do another video about it. You hear me? Jim Bob's out.